Now back to the Trump presidency and the Trump administration is appealing to a federal judge for more time to reunite young immigrant children who have been separated from their parents. The government has been using DNA testing to verify family connections, but says that it needs more time to meet tomorrow's deadline. CBS 4's Henna Doba reports. Protesters across the country kept up calls for the Trump administration to abolish ICE ahead of a looming deadline to reunite families separated at the border. We are disappointed the government is not going to meet the deadline for all those children. Last month, a court ordered the government to reunite 102 children under the age of five with their families by Tuesday. An administration official tells CBS News the government is on track to reunify almost all of those children, but more time will be needed in some cases. At this point, what we're looking for are very specific promises by the government that we can hold them to day to day. Monday, Texas Congressman Mark Vesey joined New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand on a tour of a Texas detention facility. The women and children that we saw here today, they're not gang members. Uh, they're not in any of these uh, affiliations that Donald Trump talks about. The government faces a second deadline on July 26th to reunite all older children with their families. Immigration attorney Electra Yao. It's a fiasco. It's quite embarrassing, and it's something that shouldn't happen um, in the United States. At an event in Montana last week, President Trump used the immigration issue to rally his base. We want tough, strong, powerful borders, and we want no crime. This spring, the Trump administration launched its zero tolerance policy. More than 2,000 children were separated from parents at the border before the president signed an executive order walking back the policy. Anadoba, CBS News.